All right, welcome back to the morning show on ETV right here. We're with you all the way till 8.30. We're moments away before we get to 8 o'clock. Right now, Team SFAM, I am joined by a travel guru, Chris Juntef. And he's a travel content creator from the United States with a particular focus on food and culture. Now, Chris is known for his fun, engaging online content that would make you feel like you're traveling along with him as you watch his videos. And he joins me right now via Zoom. Chris, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's so good to have you on the morning show. Thank you so much for having me on. Chris, I'm curious to find out on what inspired you or what is the reason behind your passion to experience the world through traveling? Yes, that's a great question. So for me, it's really all started when I was a English teacher in Thailand. It was my first time living abroad and I was teaching and I really wanted to travel and see the country, but also get involved in the local community and understand how how people lived there and the people living around me. And so that's really the inspiration for starting Authentic Traveling. And that's my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok page. And on there, I do um, travel content from around the world, visiting all of these different countries. And I have a very unique travel style where I like to really understand how the locals live, get involved in the culture, and really like see the country from the eyes of someone living there. Yeah, and I mean, we've seen you do this a number of times where you show in the real experiences in all these different areas. Um, and not just having the tourist version of it, the actual full-on experience of it. But something else that we see you do very often is disprove the negative narratives about certain parts of the world. Why is this something that's so important to you? Yeah, so one of my missions has really been to visit every single country in the world. And so right now, I just visited Lesotho. That was country 155, so I've got like 40-something sure. left in the world. And um, I found myself going, you know, as you go to every country, you don't go to places that people go to all the time, of course. And so I found myself visiting all of these countries that people said, oh, it's dangerous, you're not going to be safe there, the people are unfriendly, the food is terrible, everything, you can go on and on. And I found myself going to these places and that was not at all the case. I found the people incredibly kind. I found myself completely safe there, warm, welcoming people. And so I found that there are so many negative stereotypes about the world, about certain countries that, you know, people say don't travel to. So for example, I've been to Iran, I've been to Iraq, definitely South Africa is another country where there's a lot of negative stereotypes. And I found that, uh, you know, so much of that is not true, that people are warm and welcoming. And so I create these videos, lots of times sarcastic, making fun of what I was told and how that country looks. And um, that has really been popular on social media where I sort of disprove some of those narratives and show a different side of places that doesn't often get shown in the media. Uh, yeah, it's very true. You've heard those sar sarcasm and sarcastic comments uh, in between where you say, as you can see, there's people traveling on their elephants in line if you look around over here. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk about your trip in Southern Africa, you know, South Africa, specifically Lesotho. Tell us why you loved or what are some of the experiences in the countries that you love so much, specifically between South Africa and Lesotho? Yeah, so, I mean, South Africans have been so kind and friendly, and that was like one of the first things I noticed when I was in the country. But probably the experience I liked the most was the food. And so this is actually my second time in South Africa. And the first time I went to Cape Town, um, it was a shorter trip. But this time I really wanted to like dive in and get into the food. And so I went to Durban. And while there, I got to try all the unique street foods. I got to try the sheep's head while I was there. I got to try a lot of the different, um, I got to try quota as you're seeing on here. Yeah. Um, and really, really sort of enjoyed trying all of these, these foods. Um, as well as in Lesotho, I was able to, to visit a, a rural community and try like a really amazing home cooked meal. And so made videos about all of those experiences on my page. But that was something I really enjoyed throughout my time in South Africa was trying all the food. Yeah, and, and if you were to say from the top of your head, what's one dish that remains memorable, saying this is one of those things I will definitely have if I set back foot into South Africa without a shadow of a doubt? It's got to be bunny chow. I mean, <laughs> that is the most unique thing. I think, like, of course, we have curry in other countries and we have loaves of bread in other countries, but combining them together is something I've never seen before, and it's one of the most iconic foods from South Africa. But I must say, you also must have had some meals that were fairly different and a little bit different texture, different look. I mean, you speak about how you had the sheep's head, you speak about how you've had kotas, you've had uh, the fresh chicken in Lesotho. What was one dish that yes. you had that 
tasted all right, but it was like, oh, I'm not sure about this one. I can't say a single, I, I'm, I'm the kind of person that will eat everything. And so there's there everything I enjoy, everything I would try. Yeah, yeah, no, that's 100%. All right, Chris, let's talk about the rest of your travels. I mean, 155 countries are across the world. That's a quite a bit of traveling. There's a lot of people that want to travel that haven't even done the first trip out of their own country. How do you manage to plan and budget for every single one of these trips um, extensively so that you get the full experience? Yes, I think that's a great question. So I think a lot of people want to travel and I, you know, for many people starting their first time traveling, my recommendation is, is go somewhere near to your country. So a lot of South Africans, and I see this in other countries think, oh, if, if I want to travel, I need to fly like all the way to Europe or I need to fly to some expensive island. And that's not the case. Like really travel starts with your first trip abroad. There's so many beautiful countries nearby South Africa that are easily accessible and that don't cost a lot of money to visit. Yeah. So think of Lesotho. How many South Africans have been to Lesotho? Mm. Probably not that. How many South Africans have been to Eswatini, have been to Mozambique, Namibia, been to Botswana? These are really, really beautiful places that are, you know, are not going to require a flight, are going to be much more affordable. And so I always, you know, encourage people on their first trip is, you know, doesn't have to be far away. Just think of like, what is near me? There are so many unique cultures and interesting places that are not so far that are totally worth experiencing. Yeah, absolutely. I know there aren't that many South Africans that have experienced your Mozambiques and Lesotho's. Before I let you go, Chris, your top five countries all around the world in no particular order, what would they be? So I don't I, I don't have a full five, but I'll give you my top three. So right. I loved living in Thailand. I love the food there. That's my number one country. You're going to see this food theme coming throughout here. Uh, number two is Italy. I was fortunate enough to actually spend a year living there, and the pasta, the pizza, all of the amazing food there is is probably my second favorite country. And then the third, I think, is a really unique country that I spent um, I spent about a week in. Um, it's uh, Cabo Verde. So it's mm -hmm. in the north uh, western, yeah, northwestern part of Africa. These yeah. islands. They're absolutely beautiful. The country is very affordable. It's a it's a place I would really recommend, and it's not on a lot of people's radars, but it's one of my favorite countries. Chris, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for showcasing South Africa and the rest of Africa in the way that you have thank and you so constantly busting the negative connotations and stereotypes that are out there by showcasing all that we have to offer. Thank you. Awesome stuff. A big thanks to Chris Jundef, a travel content creator from the United States, talking to us about his journey to experience all the countries in the world. And you can keep up with all of his travels and see how it was when he was here by going to follow him at authentic underscore traveling on all social media platforms.